Hey guys, it's Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Okay, so I left the Dreadnought last episode so I could use a cottage. And even though I showed Sid and Princess Hilda where they were, I did not rescue them intentionally because if I did so, I couldn't leave the Dreadnought to do this. There was a reason for doing this. When you're ready, go back in, we're going for the main route. In which case, we're going straight for Sid and Hilda, and then heading towards the ice shield chest to face what's there, and then finally, the engine. Two rates and a ghast. Alright, so I will try to conserve a tiny bit of MP, but I am going to be casting Berserk like crazy to try to power that up. I'm going to want it. It's too good a spell. Yeah, a staff level up from that. Sweet. That's pretty good. We'll move on here. Alright, shadows and ghast. Alright, take out the ghast, because ghasts are annoying. Continue with the berserk spelling. I may as well give it to Guy, because Furion moves too quickly. If I'm gonna actually do that, I'm gonna do this, and instead run berserk on Guy to make him attack the ghast, because that should deal with it. Yeah, because Furion is almost always first, unfortunately, which means he won't get the true benefits of the Berserk spell as a result. Granted, this is probably due to him wearing light armor and at least decent stuff, so he is pretty agile in that sense, but it doesn't really change the uh, thought process here. At the same time, I'm also looking for a mine encounter, because that will mean using Bolt 3, since I'm really close to having Bolt 4 on Furion. That would be nice to have. So head this way, run up here, and head for the door, which will take you down to... B1. Shit. Speaking of the mine encounter, thank you. Alright, so run the Bolt 3, everyone else can just attack the balloon. I mean, first come, first serve. Oh, first strike, I mean, it doesn't matter now. If there, if there were multiple mines, and there wasn't a first strike, I'd at least one, let one strike and let the mine explode, because that would actually mean Vitality and HP boosts. Potentially. Alright, so left, down, and run this route. There's... Oh, crap! That's a lot of Werepanthers. I mean, I'll give it a roll. Doesn't really change the fact that that's kind of stupid. Even though, yes, Maria does have the Werebuster, I need to be running that, uh, Berserk score up. And, fortunately, Furion is not getting any boosts, because Poison can't heal in combat with uh, the heal spell. It has to be out of combat. Now, if it's level 2, then that would be something different. Unfortunately, that's not the case. At least not yet. So, I'll have to top it out. Run a Berserk on board. There goes one of them. Three hits for 75 damage, and you were added with Berserk. Seriously? And I'll run Berserk on Maria, too. This way she has the full benefits as well. And she's also poisoned. Great. Let's try to get this over with. Yep, 
Yeah, that was obnoxious. Yeah, I got a vitality up, and so did Gordon, along with an HP boost. Alright, guy, you're up. Drop this poison. Whoops. I'll leave the HP as is for now. I mean, we're not really going to be doing anything until I actually get to where I need to be. Alright, cracked open the bars. Cracked open the bars. You can talk to Princess Hilda, but nothing really happens. You have to talk to Sid. In which case, says toss a sun flame into the engine, and they disappear, but you can't. Which is specifically why I went outside and used the cottage at the end of the last episode. Now, if you've already dealt with what I was about, what I'm, uh, what I'm about to face, then don't worry about your MP, just go nuts. On the other hand, conservation would be nice, considering... This thing coming up is pretty nasty. More or less come down to luck here. Damn it, line four. Of course. And it's hit it twice. Lovely. Gas are annoying for this reason. Why are you not running berserk? Run berserk. Also attempt a heal spell with Furion. See if I can at least get something working. Oh wait, he's paralyzed. Derp. <laughs> oh, I derped out so hard. Berserk level up. About time. Then again, I only had it for a couple episodes, so it's record time pretty much. At least they'll start charging up stronger. Alright, so... Yay, Ambush. Here comes the blind! They did not actually use it. Good. It's time for Berserk 2! Let's see how strong it gets. Oh shoot, I hit the wrong target. Oops. Okay, so that was a disaster. At least I can keep charging this thing up. Unfortunately, that blind four was a total failure. I'm kind of glad for that, because I didn't want to try to run risky heals. To no avail. Alright, what the hell, fire three. Oh, 95 damage, that's not bad. 300 damage against the ghoul. Works for me! Power down, but soul up. Intelligence and MP up. Sweet! Alright, so I guess I'll just head this way. Three Were Panthers. Oh, come on! Alright, run berserks. Keep powering up thy berserk spell. Of course, Furion just strikes first because he's always the one striking first, and then Maria goes second, which is why I'm targeting Guy in the first place, considering that he will use it on that turn. I gotta wait for the next turn for Furion. Damn it, poison. Not surprised. Let's 
Let's run that on Gordon, see if that does anything at all. Jeez, no one else is really taking any damage. Okay. Enough bullshit. Yeah, 190 HP. I figured these guys would at least had some kind of damage. I thought. But, maybe not. And that's a wrap there. Jeez, 11 minutes and all I've really done was save freaking... Power and HP for guy. That's good. What's not good is still having poison. Get out of the picture. While we're at it, let's uh, do an AoE here and at least power that up slightly. This really needs no explanation here. Oops. I was supposed to do Gordon to the ghoul, and I... I, it pressed too quickly. I didn't let go of it quick enough. So, one gets to stay, and I guess we get, uh... Oh, an extra turn for some stuff. Shield up, intelligence down and power up, and shield up. Oh, and spears as well. Huh, sweet. Quite a lot of stuff for Gordon, which is nice. More ghasts. Jeez. Oh, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna run fire. At least try to get one of the rid of one of them immediately. Blind four is obnoxious. Oh, I missed the target. Oops. Well, at least neither, none of them actually used the spell. Just an agility up from that, huh? I mean, I don't mind that. Agility is nice. Helps make moves faster. Evasion helps. Not bad overall. And another one of these stupid encounters. Alright, fire again. Let's make sure I have everything targeted this time. You specifically strike that one. Fire three this one. Attack this one. Attack this one. I want to at least try to square it away. And blind. Damn it. And multiple blinds. Fantastic. Everybody got hit but Furion. Uh, hold up. Derp. This could be useful in, you know, clearing everybody so they can actually gain stats. Of course, doing it one at a time is probably the best way in order to gain any success at all. Alright, 14 minutes, and we just now reached this section of B1. I still gotta get to B2, and the chest itself. Three Panthers. Ambush. Oh, great. Oh, just as fantastic. Uh, this is... okay. 
This is stupid, I'm running. Just, just no. Everything about that just screamed no. This guy has his heel spell at a 90. So the good news is just five more status effects that screw up, and that's it. Uh oh. Well, this is a foregone conclusion. Varian casts a spell, and that's it. That should put him at bolt four. If not, I gotta do one more time. There it is, bolt four, and agility up. Alright, my first level four black magic spell. So far, so good. It's at least working out. Cast and Wraith. Alright, run this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Fearing can at least one shot a Wraith. It's not reliable on a ghast. While I'm at it, why are you not casting Berserk? That's what I need to do. Yeah, rates are only like 60 HP. Gas are 100. Works for me! Three wear panthers. I just realized I'm going reverse. Whoops. I screwed up. Yeah, I goofed up. <laughs> I don't know why I was just suddenly going in reverse when I was right at the door. And just before it, I faced multiple mines. Let one go at a time. Actually, shoot. Run a level 4 bolt on this one. Attack this one. And cure to everybody, just in case it gets out of hand. Yeah, the whole sole purpose of this is to let them explode. I may as well boost up bolt while I have the chance to. Granted, they're also weak to fire, but... This is a worthwhile chance to actually gain some more HP. As long as I can actually cure up, I won't have to worry about, uh... Stupidity. Because it will hit for, like, 75 damage. Boom! For zero! <laughs> zero damage! <laughs> uh, that's funny. Outbolt again. What the hell? Fire three. Oh, that's AoE. Oops. I don't want to do AoE. I want to do single. Just let the others attack. I blew up for no damage. Yeah, eventually with enough defense, that's what will end up happening. Even the highest ranking bombs, which actually hit pretty hard with that nuke, can hit for zero damage. Here are the right circumstances, of course. Yeah, by the time we actually get to meeting those things, that might even be a possibility. Okay, guys, can you go away? And where Panthers and a Magician? Well, this one I may as well fight because... The Magicians can drop some decent stuff. I got poisoned again. I got poisoned yet again. In other news, Chris is breathing. Alright, uh, just attack. Cure two.
We're at 20 minutes already, so I actually will stop right in front of the chest. Which is fine, because it's technically... In a sense, this thing is the boss of the Dreadnought. Because you don't actually have to fight anything at the engine. This guy is just tough. Much like every other technical boss you faced in this game. Alright, there goes the Magician. So, hopefully something good drops from him. But, uh, whatever drops, drops, unfortunately. Uh, so, we'll see what happens here. I'll just leave it as is. I mean, we're at that point, I'm not gonna get Berserk 3 anyway. Unless I'm running around bullshitting, but I'm at 21 minutes, so who cares. I got four minutes to get to the chest. A soul up from Ferian. Heal one more time. Eh, the enemies really aren't gonna kill me. So I'm not worried. And one more encounter with more Were Panthers. Alright, no. I no. Just no. There I am. Don't press A, let's get this going. Um, I'll use Gordon's magic, because Chris, he's not going to be do using any of it at all. Um, actually, Christ, if I was going to do that, I may as well just go full. Two thirty-two. There's three hundred four. Yeah, you definitely want to be at max HP before you encounter this thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and just set myself up with what I need. In which case, uh, I can change the Ancient Sword in combat, so it doesn't matter. This is perfect for Virion. For Maria, this is going to change to a Bolt. And I'll leave the Hellfire there. Damn, I completely forgot about that Hellfire. That's Fire 5, and I could've used that against the Undead. Derp. As for Guy, I'm going to give him the Berserk Tome. And I should get another potion. That works. I mean, it works for him. That's Berserk 6 on himself, which is nice. The Bolts are Bolt 8. AoE, which is okay. And that's really about it. The main go, I would be... I would be okay with it, but, um... I'll be, I'll be fine without it for this, because it's not like anything's gonna be special. Curse, I think Maria's gonna be casting magic anyway. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video here. We're already at 23 and a half minutes. We'll face this fight and destroy the Dreadnought next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.